All right, guys, back with a new video, probably the last one you're gonna see out of the US. Um, this is a really quick one. Today, I just wanna talk about how to load your kayak. Like, obviously, there's an infinite amount of numbers and ways how to load your kayak, but uh, lots of trial and error, trust me on that one, showed me which is the easiest way for me to load a boat if I wanna just go shred laps or if I'm on a big car drive and don't want to think about losing boats on the roof because you can get pretty paranoid doing that. It's an easy way, it's safe, it's convenient. I think it's the best way to do it. And yeah, check it out. All right, things you need in order to load your kayak properly. A vehicle of your choice, ideally with roof racks. In my point, this bad boy. More things you need to load your kayak. A kayak. Pretty straightforward, right? Last but not least, ideally something like a strap, but uh, throwbacks will work worst case. Anything which you can tie together, but ideally you have a nice strap, making sure your kayak sits nice and safe on the top of your car and it's not gonna get blown around and fall on the highway. So the first step is your car is empty on the roof, there's no bolt or anything. You take your strap and you just pull it through underneath both roof racks and let it sit there. Let's do this now. Strap in my buckle. And I pull it underneath roof rack one. Pull it underneath roof rack two. And let it sit there. Alright. So I pulled it underneath the both roof racks and let it lift there for a minute. Pretty straightforward. That's step one. Step two. Put your kayak on the roof. So the next step is to take the loose end without the buckle and go through these top grab loops over and back underneath the, the roof bar. Bring it this way, you still under, you go back up and through this grab loop again where it's gonna meet the buckle and you'll be able to tighten it. Reason is, if you go through the grab handles, there's no way you can actually lose your kayak off the roof. And, you know, whilst driving, all the resistance to the wind, you're on the dirt road, stuff like that, the boat will loosen up, there's no other way around it. But just by going through, through the grab loops, you're just gonna make sure it's not gonna fall off the roof and cause drama. All right, so we're gonna go grab the loose end, bring it over through the buckle here, pull it through. This isn't a way too long strap, I know. Then you're gonna take you're gonna take that strap, bring it underneath the roof bar, pull it all the way through, underneath the second one as well. It's not that easy to load a kayak with only one hand trying to film it, I tell you that. Anyways, now you have this. Gonna aim for that bad boy. So now that the loose end went through the buckle, it's through both grab loops. It's uh, time to tighten this bad boy up. Just make sure you wiggle the boat a little bit so the strap can move around and get nice and tight but not too tight. You can definitely damage your boat if you repeatedly strap it on the roof way too tight and keep it on there forever. It's that's the reason why many boats, boats start to oil can, meaning they get like this weird bump in their bottom and just will break way easier. So now that you tighten down your strap, I really like to do a so-called safety knot, just in case the buckle has a malfunction or somebody's trying to fuck with you. Boom, that's safe and sound. Now you have about, 750 feet of spare rope You can either tie it up all nice and neat there throw it in your boat or be lazy like me and just throw it in the car Close the door and be ready to go shredding. Hey okay, guys, so obviously it seems super straightforward But trust me I have seen and I have done a lot of very very questionable loading jobs before I probably still will in the near future just uh, sometimes it's so many bolts and nobody has straps, stuff like that, classic. 
but uh, it's definitely something I would like to address more in the kayaking community is just sa road safety because can you imagine this thing falls off on the highway and would for example hit a motorbiker that shall be it for today I'm flying out tonight so it's brand we're gonna go back to Europe hang there for a week before it's time to meet up again in India we'll hopefully be able to do more videos in India I do not know about internet connection there and stuff like that but just be assured like we will still be filming we will be creating content and I really hope we will be able to upload some stuff but for now it's nothing left but to say goodbye I'm gonna jump on a plane in a couple hours and catch you next time Oh, 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 oh,